I'm Lexi Bowling and we're backstage at Mover. Hi, fashion enthusiasts. I am bringing you another video about American models who had success in fashion in the 2010s. Lexi recognizes that Steven Mysel catapulted her career. He really gave me the start that I needed and helped me out a lot and gave me a lot of jobs as well. And also, he's just a really great person. He's a genius. Everything he does is so intelligent. You just learn a lot as well about a lot of things when you're working with him too. Her first fashion show was for Alexander Wang for the summer season of 2014. Various publications have dubbed her as fashion's favorite bad girl. Like many models, Lexi states that personality is the key to her profession. People say I'm cool, apparently. I don't know. I mean, people don't want to work with a model that just, like, sits there on her phone all day. I don't know. I just try and dance around and have some energy. Her portfolio of designer campaigns include Prada, Jimmy Choo, Alexander Wang, Versace, and Thierry Mugler, amongst various others. Lexi likes doing runways more than photo shoots. Shows. Shows, it's like 60 seconds, you have to be on point. After that, you could sleep in a makeup chair. But edit editorials, you have to be on for like 10 hours. She has graced the covers of Vogue multiple times, as well as for Numero and various others. Hi, my name is Amanda Murphy. I want to thank Ronaldo for recommending Amanda to me. I did not know about her, so if you guys know any American models who were notable in this decade, please say so in the comments. Her breakout year was in 2013, when she debuted as a Prada and Princess Schooler exclusive. Amanda is best known for being a Prada muse. My first big moment in fashion was his opening and closing Prada. It was, um, yeah, in 2013. It was such a big surprise. I mean, they keep everything under lock and key, so I, I didn't even know I was opening until they were like, Amanda, we need you in front. Like, get in line, we see you up here, and I was like, what, what? And they are just like, go. Apart from being in dozens of Prada campaigns, she's also worked for Celine, D Squared, Salvatore Ferragamo, Jimmy Choo, and Armani. Amanda saw modeling as a chance to further her academic education. So for me, modeling, it originally started out as a way for me to try to find an avenue to afford college. She has graced the covers of Italian and Japanese Vogue, ID, and V Magazine. Uh, hi, I'm Binks Walton, and I'm a model. Binks made her catwalk debut at age 16 for the Marc Jacobs winter season of 2013. However, her breakthrough moment was when she was cast in the spring season of Celine's 2014 show. Binks argues that politeness is the way to succeed in a hierarchical society. You have to be kind, you have to be gent you have to be better than all of the rest mm -hmm. because you're already looked at as lower than all of the rest. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay attention, you have to see the environment that you're in right. and best adapt to it because it's like you don't want to be the problematic person and that's the excuse why they're not hiring somebody who looks like you. You're the inventor of your reality, you're the creator. Her portfolio of designer campaigns include Tom Ford, Prince Schooler, Chanel, Vera Wang, Fendi, and Rag and Bone. To name a few, Binks believes in being authentic. And don't be too conformed by the industry and what society brings upon the industry. I think it's very important that you're, you stay you, but you still play the game in a way, as in, you know, be nice and personable and do your best, but also have another life besides the, just fashion. She has been in numerous fashion magazines. She can model different concepts, from whimsical to very upfront images, but she can also portray relatability. 